Welcome back to another edition of Two Guys For Real. I'm Alexander Antoniatis. And I'm Nico Ramses. And today, we're going to be talking about a little film called Good Times Coming. It's a short film made here in Canada in a little city called Montreal. Don't let the experimental surrealism throw you through a loop. Yeah, this film isn't all sunny side up. No, I was feeling a little scrambled by the end of it. Even a little over easy. Yeah, but don't worry, good times are coming. Pete, you're good egg. This is a really beautiful and interpersonal story between mother and son and the bonds that tie them together. Absolutely. I could really see you in this movie, Mom. Aww. Especially Hit Home for the Greeks. Oh yeah, you know what hit home for me? The editing. I've never seen a short film with editing this concise and this punchy. Constantly shifting, constantly changing tones. It really helps drive the underpinning themes of this film. Let's hear a little more about it from Alexa Bodanis, our social media producer, who had a chance to speak to Tony Askimopoulos, the director. Take it away, Alexa. Are there any personal elements that inspired the story? And if so, what would they be? Yeah, the whole story is personal. Everything in this film happened to me. Um, uh, not in that necessarily in the order that it happens in the film, but uh, yes, I was divorced and I didn't tell my mother for a long time because I didn't want uh, to upset her. And I, but really, I just wanted to put off the real, accepting the reality of what was happening in life yeah. and um, uh, not telling her was a way of putting everything on hold. Everything was kind of paused, but it, it wasn't really paused because tension was building up and, you know, nothing ever is paused really. You haven't told your mom yet? Cousin, she's dreaming about babies. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. Okay, money. Money. Everybody knows, okay? People know. Don't do this to her. She can take it. So the story is revolved around Easter. What was the significance of you having it set around Easter? So I was shooting documentary, actually, which is how this film came to be. I, I decided to write something to go along with the footage I had of Greek Easter. Yeah. Of course, the story is also about a big change. There's a near-death experience in the film. There's a, 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 a what do you call it, a resurrection? <laughs> so yes, I, I thought it fit, I thought it all fit together. Uh, but it began with just wanting to set a film um, on Good Friday and Easter weekend. Is there a message that you want people to take away from this film when they watch it? You know, like what I would tell a friend if they were going through something like what the guy in the film is going through or like what I went through, um, that your health can actually be very affected by um, in the short term and in the long term by um, feeling like you're uh, alone with something or that something is too huge. You know, uh, um, people get sick. That's all. So it's like, don't get sick. That's the message. I left my mother on the other side of the world to die alone. Dad? That uh, the, the stability of a giant rock, um, it's a symbolic image that's been mentioned, like it, even in, in, in stuff I've read about uh, losing your father. Um, I read somewhere that it's like, getting up in the morning and going to a window and there's been a mountain outside that window your whole life and then all of a sudden it's gone that mountain is gone when you lose your father um, right the mother is different mother is uh, the same book said that if you lose your mother uh, which hasn't happened to me yet everything is gone like the room the window everything because it's it's a complete we were inside our mothers like it's a completely different trip hasn't happened yet but the mountain and the stability and the kind of courage and um you know the guts or whatever you want to call it um is kind of what it means to me so when he's looking when he's looking off it's just kind of and there's a plane going by 
Mm. Um, it's like his way of telling himself that things are going to be all right, but I'm getting out of here. Εγώ σε κρατάω εδώ με το ζόρι. Thank you so much, Alexa. And I just want to mention that all our short films and documentaries will be available across Canada this October on our website, gift.ca. We'd like to thank you again for tuning into this show. And we hope to see you this fall at the Greek International Film Festival. Because we know good times are coming. All right. All right. Hello. <laughs>